Hi there, this is Matt from Smart Online Tutoring and I want to show you how to get set up with cells which will allow you to receive payments on your website for your tutoring sessions. So here you can see we're at the website cells.com and to get started click this button here sign up for free. This will then ask you to sign up either with your social media or you can do so with your email just here. When you've added your name, email and password, click sign up here after reading the terms and conditions. Then when you've signed up, you'll receive this welcome page and it will ask you a couple of quick questions about how you're planning to use cells. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how to add a buy button. So we can just click this option here. Um, but I also use cells on my social media as well. So we'll be looking at that at a later date. So then when you've chosen those questions, you can click next. Then you'll be asked how you want to describe yourself. So we're gonna choose the educator option here. And for example, language but you can choose whichever one is appropriate for you. Then click next. What are you selling? So we're not actually selling any of these options here. So we can click other and we're gonna click submit. Now we can see the main dashboard page with options down the left-hand side um, and also in the center here. So the first thing we want to do is to add an item. Now with cells, you can sell digital, physical, or service items. So for example, online tutoring would come under this service items. So let's click add, and it will take us to the add an item page. Simply click this purple button here. And as I mentioned before, there's the three options, and we're gonna choose service, so for our tutoring service. Now we can add the details here and for example, Skype lesson. So you might want to put, for example, one-to-one -one science Skype lesson. You could then write a short description here um, to outline what you're actually offering. So for example, one hour one-to-one -one science lesson on Skype. You can also edit the text in any way that you want, alignment, etc. And then the great thing you can also do is add some media. So you're allowed up to eight images and video. So if you've created a YouTube video, for example, you can actually add that to this item. So we're actually just gonna add an image for now. So click here and then add image and choose an image that is suitable to the lesson that you're offering. You can then choose the currency that you want to sell in here by clicking the drop down menu. I'm gonna leave that as pounds. Um, set your price and then you can choose the quantity of lessons that you want to offer. Um, it comes checked as unlimited, but if you want to limit the number, um, you can just uh, click here and choose the quantity that you want. So for example, five, and uncheck that box. Okay, so then click save and you'll be asked to enter in your address details. When you've done that, you can click finish. And that's it. You now have your first item that you can add to your website just to start selling your online tutoring lessons. So if you click on this options button here, um, we can then click where it says share. And we're gonna focus on this first one here that says embed widget. So click this and you can actually have a preview here of what the button will look like. And there are several options that you can change. So for example, all of the colors are editable and you can uh, change what the button looks like and the text, etc. What it actually says on the button, if you want to edit that, that's possible. Um, you can also choose to display the logos of the payment, for example, um, credit card or PayPal logo. And this is a really neat function here. You can choose how the buyers interact with your button. The overlay option means that uh, the button just shows up on top of your website and meaning that, that 
buyers don't actually leave your site. Um, if you click the new tab, it will be opened in a new tab. I personally prefer this option here, um, the overlay option, and also clicking this fast checkout button will mean that the buyer goes directly to the checkout. This just skips one item which describes the details, um, but this is your, your choice. So once you've chosen how you want the button to look, um, you can then copy this code here. Now if you're not familiar with coding this might seem a little bit uh, strange but don't worry just click the copy button and that will copy all of that code um, which we can now add to the back end of the WordPress website. If you want a slightly smaller button and you don't want this large widget on your website you can also just click embed button. This will give you the option to include a button that looks like this. Uh, again, you can choose the styling that you want, if it's just a small button, um, the colors again, and you have the same option here to overlay and have a fast checkout option. As before with the widget, you can just copy the button code here. This is the HTML code and then simply copy that into the back end of your WordPress website. So here I am logged into my WordPress dashboard and I now want to add a new page so I can add my payment widget to the website. So just go over to pages, add new, and then a title. So for example, Skype lessons. And now I want to add the HTML code from cells into the website. Go over to where it says text and just paste either control V or right click paste and this is the code for your pay button or widget. If you click back over to visual you won't actually see anything at all here that's okay. Um, first of all we need to publish the page then we can view the page to see how that looks. Click up here where it says view page and here is our buy button. So here's the image that we added in before, the text, the cost, how many we're offering and uh, we can now click on the buy now button and here we go it's now telling us that before we can process orders we need to enable payments first. So we can click on this enable payments button. It will take us back to our sales account. And here is how we can activate um, the payment system. You can also find this page by scrolling down here on the left, clicking settings, and then check out at the top. As you can see, um, it states that PayPal is included in your free trial. When you sign up to sales, you have a free 14 day trial that includes all of the apps that they offer such as PayPal. Now after that trial ends, this is a paid feature, um, but we're going to focus on um, setting up cells today, which shows you the transaction fee is 2% for every order processed, plus the cells payment fee of 2.9% and 30 cents per order. So that works out about 5% percent of any sale that you make if the customer pays with a credit card like Visa, MasterCard or Amex. So when you have decided that you want to enable sales, you just simply choose the country here and then click enable. This will take you to the accounts detail page where you enter your personal details and then click continue. Then you need to add your account details, including your bank details, um, where your money will be transferred to, um, how often you would like your transfers to be made. So you can choose daily, weekly, or monthly. Daily um, means that your payment will be made seven days after the student completes the payment. So if you were to make a sale every day, then each day you would receive any payments that were made seven days previous. And then you can just put in here how the payments will appear on your student's card statements. When you've completed all of this information and read the terms and conditions, you can click Submit. 
You will then return to this checkout page and you can see that it's now showing as submitted. Um, this will be verified by cells um, and when you see the green connected sign that means you can start taking payments. In the meantime we can click on this connect to PayPal option and um, this means that as well as receiving payments for credit and debit cards you can also receive PayPal payments. Um, these will actually be processed by PayPal and paid directly into your PayPal account. So the, the fees are different to sales, they're dependent on your PayPal account and the fees that you have set up with them. So if you want to go ahead and connect your PayPal account, simply click this blue button here. And then if you already have a PayPal account set up, you simply add the, your email address and your PayPal password and click login. You'll then be asked to agree that cells can share your information and if you're happy with the privacy and user agreement policy, click agree. And that's it. We can now see the verified button here and the green button on the right indicating that we are now verified with PayPal and also now we can see the green button here indicates we are also verified with our bank account. So that's everything, you're all set up and you can now start receiving money both with credit cards and PayPal on your tutoring website.